to Up Close and Personal with Pope Pius XII, where we discuss the issues of the world from the Christian standpoint. Yes, I did just teleport here, because I am the Pope, and I do what I want. And this is my Bible, the J Jer Jerusalem Bible. The Jerusalem Bible is the newest Christian Bible, translated directly from the Hebrew, the original Hebrew Bible. And for our second segment, music the Pope likes, and so should you. I will now teleport in our, our guest using my powers over time and space, and my good, extraordinary good looks. Introducing Elvis Presley. Oh. Hello. I'm Elvis Presley, and these are my Crocs with socks. You may know me as the guy who wrote Ora Lee, except not really, or All My Loving, or that one song that you say you can totally play on your guitar to your girlfriend, totally impress her, but you never actually do, but she's totally swayed by it. And I guess you're the Pope. I am the Pope. And, um, well, so, Elvis, why don't you tell us a little bit, um, what it's like to be in the music industry? Well, uh, everybody's kind of a jerk. A lot of people use me. Make a lot of money. Yes, yes. Some people call me the King of Pop, but that's Michael Jackson. Are you sure I'm the King of Pop? I'm the King of Rock. Oh. So, uh, how long exactly have you been in the music business? I was in the music business for roughly... 30 something years. Thir oh, cool. right. I didn't get very popular until the last yeah. dozen or so years. Right, that's, that's cool. Um, um, what, you got any new uh, new albums coming out? What, you got any well, I got this totally secret album coming out called Times with Elvis Best Days of Your Life. Don't tell me. Alright, so it's not very secret. Now, uh, Pope, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go swoo hundreds of ladies with my naturally chemistic abilities. And that concludes our second segment, Music the Pope Likes, and so should you. I like the side of the couch better. Now time for everyone's most favorite part of this show, Casual Pope Time! And yes, I did just change into these clothes using my Pope magic. During casual poke time, we like to talk about things that you might think it, they, uh, that affect you, but they really don't. Like, for instance, modern science. The Russians have just succeeded in launching their first orbital space craft that, called the Sputnik. And uh, now we are going to bring in Dr. Kulinev, the leader of the team that put that together. Dr. Kulinov, would you tell us a little bit about your um, your, uh, your project with this button? Should I ask you? Okay. Mac has always got the corner and he's the... Alright, alright. Do we have a Russian translator in here? Anyone? No? Alright, um, that was good stuff. No, I mean, I liked it, but I mean, uh, yeah. we're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to leave. And now over to our Cardinal on the Street with action news and other interesting things. Hi there, I'm John DeArden with Papal News Network. I'm here to interview today a couple of people off the street. Now, let's see what a couple of people think of Pope Pius XII. Excuse me, sir. Sir, can I, can, I, can I have your name for an interview? What is your name, sir? Fred Garvin. Fred Garvin, I like that name. It's a great name. Uh, so I was just wondering, what do you thought of uh, Pope Pius XII? Uh, I've never actually heard of him. You've never actually heard of Pope Pius XII? No. Did you know that he didn't excuse Nazis for terrible crimes? Sounds like a complete jackass. Did you know that he was anti-Semitic? I did not know that. Did you know that he had really nice glasses? So not like yours? <laughs> well, uh, thank Perfect. you for the interview. I can't see you anymore, so I'm going to <laughs> walk away now. Back to you. Teleportation again, as you can see. Now back to my normal Pope guard, 
uh, where we will be talking about matters of the utmost seriousness. As you can see, due to my temporal pope powers and my good looks and um, everything else that goes along with being a pope, we are now in the beginning, the middle, and the end of the Second Great War. And here's what happened. Nazis killed the Jews. We got the Allies killing the Germans. We got Hitler killing himself. And we got polio destroying FDR, throwing him just out, no more, no more present, no, none of that. Then we got America killing the Japanese, and it's just, it's all downhill from there. Okay. And it's now time for our final segment, Ask the Pope, where we take callers from around the globe to, and uh, we answer their questions directly from the source. Boom! And it's time for our first caller on the line. We got uh, Shanene Bong Kui Kui from North Africa, I think it was. Maybe somewhere over there in the, um, near Europe, around Asia. I don't know which one, which continent, but there he is. Hello, Father. Um, is it true that you did not condemn the murder of millions of Jews by the Nazis? Well, uh, maybe. Uh, how could you justify that? Well, I am, obviously you can see, extremely wait, good looking. Wait, what? Um, I'm good looking, and, uh... Alright, next question, Is where, that, uh... Uh, fa Father, everyone on the line just wants to know the answer to the same question. Okay, oh, oh, we're out of time. Alright, and that concludes this section for, um, uh, Ask the Pope. Thank you for watching Up Close and Personal with Pope Pius the Twelfth. And I will see you next week, if I'm not dead. Uh,